the carbon footprint, what it is, and how to minimize it. To start this video, let's talk about what the carbon footprint is. The carbon footprint is all of the greenhouse gas emissions that humans create in the world. A greenhouse gas is any gas in the atmosphere that can absorb radiation. Greenhouse gases trap and store heat in the atmosphere so that the earth does not get too cold and stays a proper temperature for living. The carbon footprint includes the carbon dioxide emissions of the world along with the greenhouse gas emissions. All of these emissions contribute to climate change, which is a major problem in today's society. Next point we are going to cover is how to calculate a carbon footprint. Calculating a carbon footprint, you must measure the amount of greenhouse gas. It comes in three ways. There's direct emissions, imported steam, and indirect emissions. These three ways can sometimes be very hard to measure. So calculating a carbon footprint can sometimes be very complex. This is a pie chart of K-State's carbon footprint from 2007. The largest portion of this pie chart is the purchased electricity, which makes sense because of how many buildings are on campus and how many lights are on each of those buildings. Next, we are going to talk about what the current carbon footprint is all over the world. This is a pie chart depicting the USA's carbon footprint compared to that of the rest of the world. The three countries with the most carbon emissions are the United States, China, and the European Union. Next, we will talk about the effects of a carbon footprint. One of the main effects of the carbon footprint is climate change. As our carbon footprint increases, climate change becomes a bigger problem. Another main effect of the carbon footprint is depletion of resources. As we deplete more resources through deforestation and other things, our carbon footprint becomes even larger. And the last thing we're going to talk about is minimizing our carbon footprint. carbon footprint is to roid a boink. Like this. This is a picture of a boink. So many of you have cars or you have seen a car on the street. But next time you see that car on the street, you just think car for carbon, car for carbon footprint. That's bad. So roid a boink. Another thing we can do is turn off the lights. Now sometimes my roommates, they get a little bit cheeky and they're like, oh boy, why is it? Energy bill so high. Did you turn off the lights? And I say, no. Also, use contact fluorescent light bulbs. Another thing we can do is cut down on meat consumption. So I thought of a helpful chant to help us remember. It goes like this: Don't eat the meat. Don't eat the meat. So next time you say cheeseburger, say it with me: Don't eat the meat. We can also use LED lights and eat locally grown and organic food. Here's a picture depicting our lovely locally grown fruit and an LED light bulb. Hey guys, there's even more things that we can do to reduce the carbon footprint. We can cut down on dairy intake and insulate the house. Lastly, you can recycle and reuse your goods. For example, you can use paper. If you have already scribbled on one side of it, you can use it as scrap paper. And also, you can drive low carbon vehicles. You may remember in previous slides, we talked about low carbon vehicles. Here is a prime example. This is the 2015 BMW i3. Pretty cool, right? Starring Penny Minder and Adam Wilde, Easter Bird Tick